Hello friends, my name is John LaCroix and I am the race director for the Human Potential Running Series. Today I'd like to tell you about our bingo trail runs held annually in November. This is a first of its kind trail and ultra running event for North America. It possesses a lot of nuances and I'd like to take a little time explaining how the event works in the hopes that you'll choose to join us. The event takes place in November at May Farms in Byers, Colorado. If you don't know where Byers is, Byers is a 40 to 50 minutes drive from downtown Denver. It is east of Denver International Airport along Interstate 70. May Farms has also been host to Color Runs, Tough Mudders, and major outdoor concerts. It's a wonderful venue just far enough from the metro area that you get to enjoy that country feel. We've designed this event to be what is known as a trail party. Trail parties are designed to promote community and provide runners of all abilities an opportunity to enjoy trail and ultra running in a fun, stress-free environment. Let's talk about the course. The course features single and double track trails and farm roads with zero pavement on a working farm in Byers, Colorado. The course is mostly exposed with scattered areas of cottonwood trees. The course is mostly flat with neg negligible elevation gain and loss. We're talking about 30 to 50 feet per two mile loop. There will be one aid station at the main control point for the event, which each runner will access before and after each loop. There are three possible loops that you can run. Green is two miles long, blue is 2.2 miles long, and red is 2.35 miles long. Uh, and of course here, uh, our friends at Caltopo allow us to zoom in uh, so we can see our venue. Uh, we have a campground, plenty of parking, a start finish line right next to this beautiful windmill and um, fountain that's out there in their little pond. Uh, and then of course our three loops, red, green, and blue. As I said before, the Bingo Trail Runs is a one-of-a-kind event where each runner continues to run loops until they obtain a bingo on their bib. A bingo is obtained by runners pulling numbered bingo chips from a bag after completion of each loop. Here's what our number 14 chip looks like. So every runner will have their own personal bag of bingo chips that they will be pulling from. Let's take a closer look at how this works for each of the four levels. If you're a level one runner, should the number that you pull be present on your bib, you will then blot the box on your bib number. Uh, you're gonna blot the one. So if you pulled number one, you would blot this uh, leftmost box. If you pulled a zero, you would uh, blot out the middle. And if you pulled a six, you'd block out the right. If the number is not present on your bib, then you will do nothing to your bib. Runners will then run another loop and repeat this process until all three boxes on their bib have been blotted. At that point, you will have a bingo. Every runner in level one will run at least six miles before anyone obtains a bingo and run no more than 10 miles before a bingo is obtained. We have weighted these odds by using only five numbers on chips and three numbers on your bib. The only difference between levels one and two are the numbers on your bib and the numbers in your bag. Level two runners will have a four numbered bib instead of a three number bib and 10 numbers in their chip bag instead of five. Every runner in level two will run at least eight miles before anyone obtains a bingo and run no more than 20 miles before a bingo is obtained. We have weighted these odds by using only 10 numbers on chips and four numbers on your bib. Levels three and four are played a little differently and is what allows us to introduce ultra distances into the event. The bibs for levels three and four each feature your traditional bingo card. HPRS staff will place 24 numbers on your bib in a totally random order. The center space is of course a free space. If you're in level three, should the number that you pull be present on your bib, the runner will blot the box that the number is present in. If the number is not present on your bib, then you will do nothing. 
The runner will then run another loop and repeat this process until a five-way bingo is obtained. The five box, that's five boxes in a row, either up and down, left or right, or diagonal across your playing board. Every runner in level three will run at least 30 miles before anyone obtains a five in a row bingo and run no more than 42 miles before a bingo is obtained. We have weighted these odds by using only 25 numbers on chips for the 25 squares on your bib. The only difference between levels three and four are the numbers in your bag. Level four runners will still have a 25 square bib but with 35 numbers in their chip bag instead of 25. Every runner in level four will run at least 40 miles before anyone obtains a bingo and run no more than 54 miles before a bingo is obtained. We have weighted these odds by using only 35 numbers on chips for the 25 squares on your bib. This continues up until 10 p.m. And the runner's result is the number of miles they ran on their way to obtaining a bingo. We proudly offer generous cutoffs for this event to ensure that you can simply enjoy your day on the trails, on the farm, and with the HPRS community. Level one starts at 9 a.m. for 13 hours to run six to 10 miles. Level two starts at 8 a.m. for 14 hours to run eight to 20 miles. Level three starts at 7 a.m. for 15 hours to run 30 to 42 miles. And level four starts at 6 a.m. for 16 hours to run 40 to 54 miles. Runners who drop from the event prior to obtaining a bingo will not be listed as an official finisher. Finally, the other unique part of this event is our camp out. We invite everyone to come to the farm and camp with us on Friday and or Saturday nights. You are welcome to camp in a tent, rooftop tent, camper van, or camping trailer of any size. Bring the whole family. We'll have a, camp, a community campfire on both nights, and the campground will be far enough away that you'll enjoy some quiet. Please do keep in mind that we don't have any running water or electricity in the campground, and generators will not be permitted. We will have portable toilets for your use, and it will be $20 for you to reserve a camp space. I hope this helps explain a little bit more about the bingo trail runs and you'll choose to join us in November.